edition of At the Vested Bar. Uh, we are at the Campbell inside Grand Central, um, and we're here with Shindy Chen, uh, founder of Scribe. What would you say is the biggest challenge that financial marketers face today? I think um, it's a really broad question, but I think um, one of the biggest challenges is just keeping up with the noise. Uh, the proliferation of social media and digital content everywhere. It's our job as financial communicators to be sure that we're on top of everything, to cut through the real news, the fake news, stay on top of industry trends, changing regulations. Uh, we just have to be on top of all that so we know exactly what we're talking about, especially when we're representing a client. Uh, I also think it's about accuracy and precision. So nowadays, I'm seeing more and more content that's just diluted with, um, you know, sources aren't verified, studies aren't cited properly, especially in editorial content, which is our specialty. We see a lot of things that aren't cited properly. So we really dig deep to find the actual original source. And that's, I think, has been a challenge because with, you know, so much content out there, you have to filter through the noise. So that's, that's I think, one of the biggest challenges. Um, and how have you seen the industry change over time? From a financial communications point of view, I think for a company, uh, social media, I think it's an obvious one, but I think particularly how they address customer issues. Uh, I think, you know, five, ten years ago, it would never have um, occurred to a company that they would have to hire uh, an entire social media team to handle customer issues, but nowadays, they can be considered negligent or aloof if a customer has an issue or airs a grievance and it's not handled in a timely manner, then, you know, depending on this, you know, how much it strikes a chord with other people, it can really bubble up to be a potential crisis. So I think cust uh, companies are really realizing that social media is uh, something that they have to invest in, they have a whole team to address, especially the customer issues. That is, that is a huge thing. Um, I think another thing is uh, just the... I think the um, increase in digital content, digital media, video, um, I think just more video, you'll see that. Um, I think in the past it might have been more traditional advertisement, that kind of stuff. But I think it's really interesting where they're placing their advertising content. I see, you know, I think Bank of America is one of the few banks I see on Snapchat. So that's exciting. They own 2% of the company, and, but it's interesting to see that they actually hit those, those ad platforms to reach consumers. Um, so what would you say is the future of financial communications? I think it's more creativity. I think it's more transparency. Um, I think they're, you know, financial companies are realizing, banks, institutions, they need to target this younger audience, this millennial. I know it's like a buzzword but it's important, they have to be on the platforms to reach those people. Those, that younger generation wants transparency. They, want to, they don't want hidden fees, um, which our generation, my parents' generation, and that's you know, even pre-fiduciary rule. You, you invest in these mutual funds, you get hit with a lot of low fees. Um, so I think that's the future. More creative content, you're gonna see more data visualization, um, more video, as I mentioned before, and just creativity, how they're targeting everybody across platforms. Cindy, thank you so much for doing this. It was really lovely to meet you, thanks.